that it's a property development group uh, uh, engaging in technology development. So the Sino Inno Lab is a is a group under the the LISCO group, and um, uh, we uh, set out to be a sandbox platform uh, to showcase property technology for the group. And uh, I, we, we believe in Hong Kong, we have many property developers, uh, but the property sector has not been disrupted by technology for many, many years. And, and I think globally, most industry has, have, has been uh, disrupted by technology with the exception of property and construction industry. So I think it's about time. So we set out to be a sandbox platform and a facilitator of technology adoption and then a champion for the prop tech, what they call the prop tech. So we want to engage technology and processes and innovation that would embrace our customer experience, our business model, and of course our operational processes. So in the group, we run over 250 uh, uh, property management services. We have security services. In fact, I think the CTU security services is offered by Sino Security. And then we have uh, cleaning services, we have hotels, etc. So, but there we see a lot of opportunities. So the Sino Inno Lab that was set up about three years ago, over this period, uh, we were encouraging open innovation platform. And we also opened the showcase of the Sino Lab to many different groups, including, so, so far in about two years since it started, we have over 900 groups and in fact, the number is about seven and a half thousand up to now. In fact, we have some CTU students also came through and recently we had an exchange with the School of Energy and through this collaboration, we hope to further engage with the department and, and the, the faculties and the students. So what are we trying to do? I'll, I'll give this about the award. Um, and it, as you can see here, we, we do partner with many organization in Hong Kong, of course, CTU is one of our clear target in, in this partnership. Um, we look at leading technology for adoption and also for uh, research and development opportunity to develop our own technology. And we also make investment into companies. So some of these example, including uh, some specific, uh, this one is a paint that we have sourced, we are sourcing from uh, Italy that can clean the air. So it's a, it's a very good environmental uh, technology. And this plasma technology, again, a Hong Kong company based out in Science Park that we are exploring partnership in terms of co-development, et cetera, and usages. Um, and here you can see through COVID in the last, over the last year, uh, I think COVID has advanced the adoption of robotics uh, in, in the society. And I myself also carry a role with the Federation of Hong Kong Industry as a chair of the Group 32, which is uh, the Automation Technology Group. And I think Ray, Ray, Professor Ray Jung here is also part of our group. That we are looking to accelerate the adoption and development of technology, uh, of robotics technology, to fit what we need in the environment. And I think COVID has bring along a lot of this advancement. So here you really see it's not just a robot. Is a lot of big data, a lot of um, uh, technology in IoT, in sensing, etc. So it's so much opportunity to further engage in this area. Um, I will just skip that. And some of the development that we are looking at right now is we, we, we are currently in the midst of a major acceleration program with Ping'an Technology in, in Shenzhen. And, um, and over this last uh, eight weeks, we have screened over 300 technology companies from all globally, including Israel, um, uh, UK, US, uh, mainland Hong Kong, etc., and also, of course, locally. And we are also advocating a prop tech alliance group, uh, which we have now linked 12 of the Hong Kong major developers together uh, into a alliance that we all collectively focus on adoption and development of innovation and technology for the property sector. So, so I think that's also part of our service to the industry. So in going forward, um, what we do look for, the, these are some of the area that technology focus that my group is looking at internally because we're looking at technology that could uh, uh, 
uh, that could impact our, us in terms of construction processes, our sales and leasing and, and management. And some of the very specific things like 3D modeling, BIM, ARVR, digital twins, um, in terms of big data analytics, the usage of drone geo, uh, geospatial information, robotics, and the light you goes on. So some of the area that we really look forward to this partnership with CTU in a smart city, where we look at smart sensing, we look at telecommunication coming up, you know, uh, the 5G technology, our friend from Smart Home is also here, that uh, all these are areas that we look for to do some development. Well, first of all, we look at uh, using some of this technology to engage a technology company, but more so we look at developing some of our own technology that we may use and we may on sell. So that's our ongoing plan. So we really look forward to uh, uh, this partnership with CTU that we can further engage with the academic, uh, academia and colleagues and also with the students that we can employ them. We can help them to get into a career to develop technology that can disrupt the Hong Kong property sector. Thank you.